Hello, uh, I wanted to make a tutorial on how I cut these windows out or just these squares. Um, somebody asked me how I did it, so here's the tutorial. I'll try to make it fast. I won't dimension or constrain as much as needed. So here we go. And I'm going to start on the front plane and sketch a circle. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to put a construction line through the center. I'm going to cut out what I don't need. I'm going to finish sketch. And I'll make a surface revolve. And say OK. And then I'm going to. I always cut it in half so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to thicken it. Thicken, and I'm going to thicken it maybe three, and say OK. So now we have a surface revolve. So it's actually a solid now. but um, So now I'll just come into uh, the right plane, and I'll sketch on that. And I'm just going to guess on the angles for now, just so we can get this a little bit quicker. But you can always put another line here, like so, and then get your angle if you needed to be exact. So now I'm going to sketch on this plane, or on this, I'm going to put a plane on the end of here. Okay, and I'm going to sketch on that plane, and I'm going to sketch just a square for now. At any number, and I'm just going to constrain it to a exact square. Okay, and now I'm going to finish that sketch, and then I'm going to go into extrude surface, and I'm going to make sure it's into the model, and that's good. And I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this too, just gets annoying. All right, now the next thing I need to do is find a uh, split command. And you select this, you select this, say cut part. And here you just select everything and you say OK. And now I hide this. And there you have your part. You can see it's two different parts. And now, what I do next is I go into my um, curves, or reference axis, and uh, for the reference axis, I'm going to choose two points right here, and I'm going to select one point. I select another point and accept that. And now I'm going to take, uh, go into my features or I'm going to my miscellaneous. And I have move copy bodies. So I'm going to select this. Then I'm going to come over where rotate. And I'm going to select this. And now I can input my degrees here. And I'm going the wrong way. And just like that and uh, that's how I do that and, uh, there's probably more uses than making a window but it's a really cool and I couldn't find any tutorials on SolidWorks in general so I've been kind of teaching myself and figuring stuff out as I go so hopefully this will help somebody thank you